Now, but how would it be if we can make that so, so nice that in most cases it doesn't even matter? Here it is. Your average plate mount, the, the, I would say, 90, better than 90% of the people that I've observed mounting plates, <clears throat> they put the mounting tape down, now we have the gap. And they take their pen and they go along pressing so that this now and press it in there, they cut it, and it, be, it becomes imperfect. You have at least a millimeter, perhaps more, of imperfection even when it's done well. And that can that can give you an impression to your plate that you don't want. So here's a trick. When I mount tape on a cylinder, as I approach the end of the tape, or the, this the end of the tape, I start to leave I go off on a tangent, in fact, where this becomes a taut straight line, a pulled straight line right here. That's the way my mounting tape is. I do not press it into that corner, okay? I start by stretching it out from here, and it becomes tangent to that, it becomes tangent to the circle, uh, you know, consistent with landing on that point. And I lay it over like this. Now, if I were to cut straight down, what would happen is this portion of the tape is at a further radius from the center than if it were laying down. So if I if I cut it straight here and I then lift this tape, remove what's under it because I cut it while it was overlapped and remove this portion. Now I have this part of the tape up here. This is air here. This is void. Yes, it's beautifully cut straight, but when this portion tries to come down here, it's slightly too long. It will bump up in here and it will not fit nicely. So how we can remedy that is we anticipate. Now, back then, this is void, this is the end of the tape, and this would be perpendicular to the tangent of the circle at that point remember your geometry. Now, instead of cutting it that way, the top part needs to be shorter, right? And the bottom should be shorter that way. That would allow them to fit there. So what I do is I say, okay, then I will take my razor and I will cut it. This is an exaggerated angle. I will cut it this way. I will angle the blade towards where the tape is coming from. What that does is it shortens this distance some, it shortens this tape some, and when I push that tape in there, it goes perfect. With a little bit of practice, you can make a seam that is, sometimes you can't see it. Okay? So, if I do that, and then I overlap it with the, the, the plate, Usually, unless it's very, very fine work and I'll take the time to do something different depending on what I have it, if I do that kind of a splice, that's it, I don't have to worry about it. I can spin that cylinder, put the plate anywhere, and it works, okay? 
So that's a little free trick. Now, when you have low adhesion, I already, well, I already went over that, so we just talked about that. Now, if we have higher adhesion, higher tack on the layer that goes on the cylinder, it can become a great challenge to remove it from the cylinder, and it has to be removed, right? It's great, it's not going to lift up during the operation. The operator loves that. He's not, he's not affected by the difficulty. And I'm assuming that the workflow means uh, even if the operator is the one mounting, we're going to treat each task as a separate individual. He's just wearing a different hat. Even if the operator, okay? So when I say the person that demounts the plate, the tape, it, it, I'm not specifying who that is. So, but the operator is not affected by it. Whoever it is that pulling that tape on there, I mean, especially on wide web. Oh, I'm going to show you another neat trick. Uh, especially on wide web, uh, it can be a tremendous challenge to pull that off. And I recall not very long ago doing a variety of trials with tapes of different adhesions, and the, the mounting guys were just angry, angry at management for what they're doing and making it so difficult, difficult to come off. So you can have too much adhesion. Okay. Plate demounting staff doesn't like it. You can have adhesive residue remaining behind on the cylinder that now you have to try to rub off with a solvent or something like that. Time, effort, wasted. Uh, some tapes actually delaminate, where now half the foam is stuck on the cylinder, half the foam gets stuck on the back of the plate, and you've got a mess. And to get that off is incredible. So we can have adhesion that's too high. Now we have the adhesive layer on the plate side. And we have a, co a conflicting, conflicting requirements. On the one hand, the plate would be easier to remove if we have lower adhesion. The plate demounting staff loves this. The operator is happy for his mate as long as it's not lifting on him. But it can read, it can read, uh, I meant, yeah, forget about that part there. Great potential. That line there is a greater potential for plate lift, as you can imagine. And you know what plate lift is when the plates rise up and they start to mark. And that's a big aggravation. Well, if you have uh, a weak adhesive layer on the plate side, obviously that, that problem is going to be more likely to manifest. So uh, the bottom line does not like that either. Because when you stop a press, especially a wide web press that's capable of running 300 meters per minute, 500 meters per minute, uh, when you have a press like that, you don't want place to lift. You don't want the operator to shut down. Hundreds of dollars per minute to run through that machine. So it could be a problem. Okay, if it's higher adhesion, now you have a similar problem that you had when it was too stuck to the cylinder, but now it's stuck to the plate. And it's even worse when it sticks to the plate too hard. Uh, the plate becomes very difficult to remove. Again, especially the wider web is really worse. Plate demounting step pays that. Operator not affected. And this is the part that's really bad. Adhesive residue, actually, adhesive residue remaining under the plate. Uh, it can be an aggravation. Now you have to get saw and wipe that off. And sometimes, actually, it's so hard to pull up that you damage the place. If you have a little nick, <coughs> whoosh, all of a sudden it can just rob and you've just torn a $500 plate. So you can have adhesion that's too high. Yes, you have a lower incidence of plate lift, and the operators love that, and the bottom line love it, but the poor guy who's uh, suffering with it is not very happy. And at the end of the day, it costs you money to have somebody sit here cleaning plates and third, you know, that sort of thing. So a mounting tape, just like ink, and just like photopolymer plates, as a matter of fact, is a system. Think of it that way. There are tapes of different uh, constructions. They have different performance. So you have to consider all, this, all the properties of the system. When you are with practical considerations, 
not involving the practical considerations of not performing the uh, performance on the press, which are the removal, the likelihood of place tearing, that sort of aggravation, the inability to reuse mounting tape if you like to, and so on. So you have to think of all of those things together. It's durometer, it's the resilience, how it adheres to the surface of the cylinder, how it adheres to the surface of the plate. Okay. This say I was going to tell you meat trick. If you have wide web operators that have difficulty removing tape, maybe they already know this, but they didn't know. Let's say that this rectangle. Square is a rectangle, even though that's not a square. Uh, represents mounting tape, and it's round on the cylinder, but we're depicting it flat. What I do is I take a razor, I come like this, and so on. Right? Now I grab this end and I go and it pulls off. Because now I'm contending with little strips at a time. So if I just take the time to I then take the, the little thing and it's a narrow strip and I'm able to just get it off like this. Very easy. Versus, you know, trying to tear it off. And that's, I wanted to address the wide web folks too, because we've got a lot of talking about label presses, although everything we talk about generally applies to, 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 to everybody. So that's a little trick for removing mounting tape if you have a wide web operation and you observe your operator's how to 